Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap. Haven't seen me again for a while, but um, it was a little bit of work to get this place together and I wanted to show it to you in its best light. So after the remodel was done, there was dust to take care of. Um, had to get the storage containers back and furniture back in, things put back in place. Um, more stuff to just get rid of and new stuff to put into place. And uh, I've been taking care of my mom who has not been doing well, but I'm happy to say that the last uh, couple of weeks she's been doing really well. So I'm feeling happier and um, want to um, make a video again. I'm going to start making videos with the soap again, so look um, for those. They should be coming up soon. And so life is kind of settling down a little bit again, which is good. So before I can kind of give you the tour of the soap room, I thought I'd show you a fast uh, little tour of the rest of the house. We're really happy with how it came out. And pay attention to the colors on the walls because not only do I put colors in the soap, but I put color everywhere else in the house too. And good color theory is just good color theory no matter where you put it. So I'll be talking a little bit about that also. I'll start off with this cabinet that um, I got as a um, just a pine cabinet years ago and wanted to paint it with something kind of fun. Love dogs, so I um, painted dogs on it. And didn't know how I was going to do those dogs until I went on a trip to Greece. So I decided to do these dogs in a kind of classic style and including... Um, these dog Olympics on the side, so I think that's kind of fun. Uh, former dog Gia down there, who's no longer with us, and little Beanie back there behind the soap. There he is, and some soap that is waiting to get put on the website, which should be opened up soon too. These are all individually wrapped and labeled. So there's those. I have another shelf over there. And this is um, just the new paint job. It's another painting I did of my pet iguana that I had long ago. So this room has basically a purple and green um, color scheme on the walls, but there's a pop of blue, and that helps tie in the blue cabinet, and the blues in the painting help also. Little pops of color are nice. Purple, orange, blue. Does that sound familiar? You've seen it in some of my soaps. And this is the um, deck, and I'll insert a picture of what this window was like before the deck was put in. And we could never get out to the canyon from the second story. We just have to look out at it. And now we can open it up and get some cross ventilation, which is really nice. So maybe we should go out there because you'll recognize something else. you recognize the times that I was in the canyon clearing out some of the brush. So it's hard to see from up here, but underneath all these canopies, it's all cleared out. So we no longer have a fire hazard. We got checked out. Have to do that in San Diego, Southern California. Just because of the fires we get out here, everything's so dry. There's the room from this angle. Okay, let's go through the kitchen. Colors in the wall here. Also, there's a view of the canyon out there too. As you might remember, this is where I used to do all my soaping. All my supplies are scattered around the kitchen before. And so every time I wanted to cook, everything had to be put away, and every time I wanted to make soap, all the cooking stuff had to be put away. So now I can do two things. I can multitask a little bit more too. I don't have that clutter of all my soaping supplies all over the place anymore. This kitchen is just a kitchen for cooking. And then here is the soap room. Very small, so we're not rich, but it is enough to um, do what I have to do. And uh, so everything has a place now. So there's my microwave I still use for melt and pour. And some supplies that I always need. So that's always on the counter. And this is where I do my soaping. Got a sink there. 
I always feel safer to do a lot of that mixing in the sink. So if any splattering happens, it stays in the sink. It doesn't go on me. And just various things for storage there. Things that I want to hide away can be tucked behind doors. But I really like looking at all the fragrances. So there's that. There's my beautiful cutter. Thanks, Jennifer and Tanner. And what do we have here? My safety stuff. Gloves, bowls, some of my molds, business cards, all kinds of things, some miscellaneous uh, embed molds and kind of worked with a cabinet designer and told them everything I wanted to store so I really love this drawer right near where I'm soaping and uh, when we were going through the remodel I decided to have uniform containers for everything and top label them so I can spot them right away and I have a tool drawer here nothing too exciting in their plastic my light and then something you will recognize up there it's my color wheel and there's my painting that I based my logo on so probably insert some pictures if I can of what this room looked like as it was being torn up and uh, all that stuff seems like a long time ago there's the logo I had that done I had it printed on steel through Costco of all places. Bedroom. It's a quick one here. I wanted this to be a kind of quiet, sedate room just to, it's not focusing. But there's color in here also. Paintings we collected. Little elephant. And what else can I show you? That's basically it. Um, but it took a while to do because we had it all done at the same time so I really suggest if you can do it just get it all done and over with so that you can uh, have your life back and not have to worry about all the dust and everything all over again so that's what I've been up to I do have some ideas for soap that I've been thinking about so I think I know what my first one's going to be and uh, hopefully I can get that up without uh, the big delay that I had this last time. But it's good to be able to come back and uh, I feel really feel like I'm communicating with you when I do the videos because I get great feedback also. So again, this is Clyde at Vibrant Soap and I'm back. See you all later. Bye.